What's up guys, I'm Josh Mosman and welcome to This Week in MXA, episode number 21 presented to you by O'Neill Racing. Thank you guys for tuning in as I'm excited for this episode. Starting things off, we just released our Inside the Pros Bike video on Dylan Ferrandez's Star Racing Yamaha YZ450F. So MXA is Travis Fant, he goes and does this series every year at Supercross and at some of the nationals, he gets up close and personal with the factory bikes. He interviews the mechanics, learns all the details about these things and brings the videos to you guys, our loyal MXA viewers on YouTube and on our website to give you guys all the details about these bikes. I personally love these videos and we love learning and we love talking about cool technology that's going on on the factory bikes and on the upcoming production models that we'll see in the future. So one thing that really stuck out to me was, well, first that he's so picky. This guy is super picky about his front end, super picky about his throttle. They actually trimmed down the right side of his handlebars just to bring his throttle tube in a little bit to make sure his handlebars are super even. So that was surprising to me. Another huge thing I was surprised about was that he's running KYB PSF1 air forks on his 450. So we see KTM, Husqvarna, Gas Gas, the guys that are running WP suspension, all their pros are on coil spring, standard spring forks, right? But the production bikes are coming out with air forks. We like the air forks. We like the spring forks from KTM. Well, now Yamaha, they sell production bikes with spring forks. SSS spring forks from KYB, we love them. On the Yamaha YZ250F and YZ450F that the Star Racing Yamaha guys are running air forks. So I'm a little embarrassed to say that I didn't know about this before, but I figured some of you guys might not know either. So I'm excited to share that information with you guys. I also learned that the Pro Circuit Kawasaki guys, they ran the SSF TAC forks from Showa, the air forks a few years ago. And Ken Roxon won the 2016 AMA Outdoor Nationals in the 450 class on an RCH Suzuki with PSF1 air forks as well. So obviously air forks work. They like them because they're a lot lighter. Lighter is always better. We talk about that a lot in our magazine and on our videos. So the overall, the Dylan Ferrandis video, his mechanic, Alex Campbell, goes super detailed, super in depth when describing his bike. So excited to share that with you guys. I think you guys are gonna learn a lot you check out that video. Next up on the topic list, I got a really cool interview with KTM North America CEO, John Hines. So I'm working on a really cool interview for the magazine right now. Talking to John Hines, I got to spend a lot of time with him, learning about KTM North America, how they dealt with the pandemic, and about electric bikes. So KTM, obviously, they have their KTM Freeride Adventure Bike that's been out for a few years now. And they also have their E5 Mini Bikes, kind of like a replacement for the 50cc two-stroke. So I got to ask him some hard-hitting questions, and I'm excited to share this interview with you guys. Hey, everyone. I'm John Hines, CEO of KTM North America, and it's an incredible time to be a part of our industry right now. Uh, for for sure globally and here in North America 2020 was a difficult year for a lot of different reasons but coming out of 2020 and into 21 we've got a lot to be optimistic about 21 for us is is a year of optimism uh, our sport is incredibly healthy our sport is incredibly strong there's this massive engagement from a new community of motorcyclists we love seeing it out at the track uh, all the brand new bikes the families that are out there with their sons and daughters, they're bringing out their friends and they're enjoying the sport of motorcycling. And we just love being a part of it. We love seeing the growth in the industry right now. And, and we can't wait to see it continue in this way and continue to grow the sport. Electric vehicles, electric mobility, this is a, it's a global macro trend. Uh, it's happening everywhere in all different segments of business. And we see it as an opportunity to take down some of the barriers to motorcycling and bring in a new generation of riders. So we started actually at, at the lowest level down with our little 50 CC motorcycle. We brought in an electric motorcycle there. And then we partnered with, with Stasic and brought in co-branded KTM Stasic and Husqvarna motorcycle Stasic to even uh, connect to a younger generation of riders and help them get that feel for twisting the throttles and the freedom of being on two wheels and balancing bikes and then have an opportunity to graduate them up into our e-mini line and the little electric mini cycles give a level of confidence to a, a young rider and to parents to come into the sport uh, there's no vibration there's no heat they're easy to start easy to charge and something that they're used to and, and we think this is just part of the future of the sport we love two strokes we love four strokes we love everything internal combustion and what we're doing right now but we also see electric motorcycles and even uh, pedal assist electric bicycles as part of the future of our sport and, and helping connect riders to the sport of, of motorcycling and riding on two wheels. And so you're not getting rid of two strokes. You're we're not definitely of... not getting rid of two strokes. We love two strokes. We love four strokes. Uh, we're highly engaged and we're going to continue to develop that product 
right along with this uh, little electric mini cycle line that we have. Cool, thank you. All right, guys, so I was super glad to get that last little bit of information out of John Hines hearing that they're not giving up on two strokes, they're not giving up on four strokes, and honestly, I'm very glad to hear that. Me, being an MXA assistant editor, test rider, I don't want to get rid of those things. It's fun to talk about electric bikes. I think it is cool to add a little bit of electric bikes here and there, help get more people into the motorcycle industry. But two strokes are where it's at, four strokes are where it's at, and I want to continue riding and racing on those things. Building off of that interview, I got a cool press release coming out of Husqvarna in Europe, talking about their new electric bike line, focusing on urban street models. So Husqvarna has their e concept. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's like their electric street bike. Then they have their electric scooter. It's called a Vector. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that one right either. And they also have a little kick scooter, like you see the guys riding around on Supercross, an electric one of those as well. It's called the Blitz concept. So Husqvarna's got all kinds of cool motorcycles and scooters coming out that are electric bikes. And they also have e-powered electric mountain bikes as well. And they have a full lineup of those that are available in downhill, cross country, all mountain bikes. So Husqvarna is doing a lot of electric bikes. I called over there, the Husqvarna guys, he here in America, they said yes. That was a European press release talking about the scooters and stuff like that. They're concept bikes. So these aren't for sale right now, but they offer a tantalizing vision of what the future looks like for Husqvarna's e-bike lineup. So tantalizing, I read that in the press release. I was pretty interested. I had to Google it to see what it means. Pretty cool to see what Husqvarna's got coming on. These bikes are wild looking, okay? We're sharing some photos here. They're wild looking and uh, the Vector model, the scooter, it's kind of like a Vespa scooter. It has about a range of 60 miles going 27 miles per hour. The e street bike model, it has the same range of going 60 miles on its electric battery and it didn't say how fast that one goes. So Husqvarna has got a lot of cool things coming. They're gonna be available in Europe first and then eventually they'll make their way here to the US market. So. I just wanted to share these guys, keep you in the loop, see what Husqvarna's got coming on. KTM is more the ready to race brand. Gas Gas is more the fun brand. Husqvarna, it's technically called the pioneering brand. Husqvarna's been around for a long time in the motorcycle industry. Now Husky, under the KTM Austrian brand, they're using it as kind of their step up and their, their brand that they're gonna introduce new technology with. All right, guys, that's it for this week in MXA, episode number 21. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about the future of electric bikes in the motocross industry. It's pretty interesting stuff going on there. As you can see, Trevor and I were here in a parking garage in a unique location, and we got some really exciting stuff coming to our YouTube, our Instagram, and our website this week. All I can say is it's stuff that we've never done before, so make sure to check out Motocross Action Mag on our Instagram to get kind of a little behind the scenes first look at what we got going on, and then subscribe to our YouTube channel as you're not gonna wanna miss this next video.